Hello and welcome to another beer review, uh, Racky's beer review even. So from Freedom Brewery, it's their New Zealand Pale. There we go. Freedom Brewery. Um, so based in Staffordshire in England, 4% volume this is. Freedom Brewery doing a hell of a lot of stuff with Audi these days. And also Castle Rock Brewery, the, the um, Bruder Pilsner with Castle Rock Brewery. I actually like Freedom Brewery, so uh, the beers that have gone into Asda, literally it, all but one have been really decent, so I can't, you know, I can't do them down. Other beer reviewers may have different, you know, points of view on it, but for me, no, I think they're doing a, a good job. Uh, maybe under tight contract, contract to brewing constraints, but uh, doing a good job in, in regardless. So it says here, a tasty trio of New, New Zealand hops join forces in this enticing pale ale. Refreshing aromas of white grapes and crushed berries fused with peppery caramel notes and a satisfying bitterness escape to the Shire with this kiwi pale ale. The hops are Pacific Jade, Nelson Savin and Motueka. So, let's dive in. I'm absolutely shattered. Another 11 hour shift. Um, I'm doing some silly hours at the moment, and I'm beginning to I'm beginning to feel like the wife felt when she was going overboard with cakes, and it was getting silly. And gardening at the moment is getting silly. Um, I, you know, when somebody asks you to do a garden, I don't like to turn around and say. No, 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 not for me, I can't do it. Unless it's something that I'm, you know, like if there's building work and I'm saying, no, I'm not that sort of gardener. You know, that's a, you want someone who's a landscape slash builder to do that. Um, and, and same again, when it comes to doing bloody 20 foot edges, I won't do that because again, that's for a certain type of gardener, i.e. lucky. Um, my, my sort of the gar gardening is the, Basically, the pretty side of things, basically. Um, and not the, uh, I'm, I'm going to work like an idiot while you're watching me, sort of garden. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> although I'm absolutely knackered anyway, well, regardless. So anyway, um, oh, I don't know what's going on there. Why is that, why am I getting internet down the shed? Um, on that phone, with a crack on the screen. So yeah, it's, it's looking like a, a slightly hazy, slightly hazy golden pour, plenty, massive amount of carbonation coming off a white bubbly head. Um, the nose is quite subdued actually. I can smell a little bit of tropical green up, but it is quite subdued. Um, I've got to be honest, I have no idea where I bought this from and who I bought it from. Could have been own bargains, but again, I have no idea. It's one of them beers that sits on the beer wall and you're thinking, where did I buy you from? I mean, it could have been low cost, but I can't say for, in any definite form where I got it. It won't be a and m bargains for sure because uh yeah they're rubbish these days um <laughs> so yeah there's a there's hints of tropical on this um it's certainly in the in in the subtle area of, of beer. Don't get me wrong, it's tasting nice, it's just very subtle. Um, it's like a zestiness going off, a punchy zestiness. 
Um, no flavours are saying, yeah, I'm a flavour. Kick me. Um, so there is a tropical, there. there's a zestness. I wouldn't say it's piney. So, I mean, it's going down a tree, don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, bit of a long day. Beer, beer, don't take long when it's the, it's the lips. It's like, whoa, get in, get in, soldier. Um, so, yeah, hazy golden white head, still retaining the head. Um, I can say, I mean, I've got a fever, so I'm not my nasal isn't perfect but even so there's there's not a lot of nose on there but it's still tasting good so you know um is it out of date i want to know uh, i can't even read the bloody lighting on there no it's all fucking gobble gobbledygook um yeah, so it's an interesting one. It's like I say, it's a bit punchy, a bit zesty. Uh, there's hints of tropical, not a full on. I've had a lot of New Zealand pails from New Zealand as well, New Zealand breweries. Um, it is what it is, but it's an easy drinking beer. So, you know, whilst it may not be a full on interpretation of New Zealand style, uh, it's still tasting good. You know, so for me, 4.0 out of 5. Yeah, no higher than that. And that's it for my review. Thank you for watching. See you soon.